Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna show you how I create digital products that are virtually guaranteed to sell. This is a process that I've used for the last two years or so. And whenever I have an idea for a product I'd like to launch, or I have something I think will do well, but I'm not really 100% sure and I wanna see, I will use this process. And this is the process that helps me to create digital products that are pretty much guaranteed to sell every time I launch them. Now, if you're new here, my name is Sean and on this channel, I talk about how to make money from writing online. So if you want more content around that, make sure you hit the like, subscribe and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos just like this. So I'm gonna hop into my computer. I'm gonna walk through this process. I'm gonna show you a few examples. And hopefully by the end of this video, you're gonna understand exactly how you can use this to launch digital products as well that have a high likelihood of selling. And so one thing that you're gonna need for this to work is whether it's your own audience or somebody else's, a client's audience, you need some kind of audience to sell to. Doesn't need to be a big audience. The bigger is or more engaged is typically better, but you need to have some kind of audience. Otherwise this is not gonna work. So this is my Facebook group. It's called Email Marketing Rainmakers. If you wanna join this for free, go to emailrainmaker.com. And this is what I use to, to launch this process. And so I wanna show you a few examples and I wanna show you a recent one first. So this is an ebook idea that I had. And I thought, how can I create a new ebook or a new training or something that people get for free when they join my group that they would want? And I had this idea for the Email Rainmaker Playbook because my Facebook group is called Email Marketing Rainmakers. So I thought, how about I create an ebook? And the, the point of creating this ebook is that it leads into my other paid offerings. And so I'm creating this ebook. It's called How to Get Paid an Extra 1K, 5K, and 10K Per Month Writing Simple Fifth Grade Emails for Other Businesses. And I didn't create a single page. I only had the idea in my head. This is March 17th, so a couple weeks ago, or a few weeks, three weeks ago or so. And I just made this post. So I had the idea, I made this post. Working on a new ebook, it'll be called this. So I didn't do anything else except put the idea out there. Want a free copy when it's live? Comment playbook below, and I'll make sure you're the first to get a copy for free. So I didn't think much of it. I was just testing my idea. I had no emotional attachment to this. I just wanted to create an ebook to give people for free in exchange for their email when they join my group. And I had this idea. And you can see here, I have 4,500 members in this group. It only reached 820 people. Facebook, for whatever reason, they don't give you 100% reach because they want you to pay for it, but it's weird in the groups. But anyway, you can see here, 266 comments out of 820 reach. That means there's a ton of interest for this ebook. And so what does this tell me? This tells me that this idea is something that I should actually go and create. So this is March 17th. In like the first couple of days, there was over a hundred comments and I knew at that point, okay, I got something. Now I have to create it because I have interest here. I have a heartbeat. And so that's when I started creating this. I actually started writing the book. I just finished it up and you can see it's about 30 pages and it walks you through exactly what I mentioned in this post. And so this is how I came up with the idea and tested it before creating anything. What you don't wanna do is create the product first and then put a post like this out here and then gauge any interest. So I do it reverse of what most people say. I test the idea first in a community or with my audience and I see the interest. If there's interest, I go and create it. If there's not, I don't create it. I don't waste any time. So this is how I create products. This is a, gonna be a free product, but the, the process is the same for a paid product. But this is how I create products that are virtually guaranteed to sell because before I create anything, I know that there's interest because there's this many comments. So let's take a look at a paid product example. So if I click over here, this is also in my Facebook group. And I said, can I get your thoughts on something? This is December 23rd. So about uh, four months ago now, three and a half, four months ago. Can I get your thoughts on something? I've noticed a lot of folks in this group join wanting to write emails to sell their own products. So I'm thinking about putting my seven cash windfall campaigns for info and digital products into a course. You can run these campaigns for your own offers and or clients whenever you need a quick cash injection. And each of these campaigns have been worth over six figures between my biz and clients. The attached image is just from two of these campaigns. Would you be interested in this? Comment windfall below it and I'll put, to, I'll put it together if there's enough interest. And so you can see here, 71 comments. That's great, that means there's interest. These are potential customers I can reach out to. So what I did was December 23rd, a couple days after this, I actually, it was, it was Christmas, I actually got a few pre-sales of people who were like, hey, will you give me a discount if I pay you for this now? And I said, sure. So I got three people to sign up for that if I remember right, and they paid me for this product before I created anything. 
And so I used the same framework as the, as the first one here, right? I just asked, hey, if I created something around this, would you be interested? Comment below. And you can see windfall, windfall, windfall. People are commenting, telling me they're interested. So this is a paid product that I have called the Cash Windfall Campaigns. If you wanna check it out, it's linked below. And so far this has done pretty well in sales since I launched it back in January of this year, 2022. And so this is an example of a paid offering that I gauged the interest first with a post just like this to my community. I got to see if people actually wanted it and then I went out and created it. I actually got paid for this before I created anything, which is awesome. And here is a third example. So this is from my email side hustle program. And it says, I'm putting a few folks together. Uh, this is November 23rd. I actually run this same post multiple times a year whenever I'm relaunching. And it says the same thing pretty much. So I'm putting a few folks together, showing them how to make an extra 1K to 5K per month writing simple fifth grade emails for clients. We don't use any complicated tech, expensive advertising or gimmicky techniques to get clients, just simple fifth grade emails. Obviously they can use a skill to write emails for their own list if they have one, but I wanna show them how they can get paid to do it for other businesses. These can eventually be four to five figure monthly paydays. Would you like to join us? You can see here, this is a more expensive investment for this program. This is a four figure investment. You can see 50 comments here on this one. I, I also sent this out through email, got a bunch of replies there. And the first time I sent this post out back in April of 2021, I had over 300 people respond through email and my Facebook group telling me they want this. And so that's how I knew to create this. So th these are three different examples and three instances using this process of going to my community, asking them if they'd be interested in something like this. And I, I put out the idea and I only create it once I get enough interest, right? Once I get people commenting and letting me know that they want it. If there's no interest, I'm not gonna get attached. I'm not gonna waste time creating something no one wants. So hopefully you got value out of seeing this. This is the exact process, it's very simple, but it will save you a lot of time and energy and make you a lot more money because you're only gonna create products and spend your time and energy creating products that people want and they're actually gonna buy. So take this, watch this again. When you're thinking about launching your own digital product or even your own service or whatever type of offer, do this process here, right? Ask your audience first, tap into them, say, hey, if I created something around this and you don't have to give too many details, you can see this is only a few sentences long. Here's what it's gonna be about. Would you be interested in this? Let them comment and tell you. Let your market and your audience tell you. So hopefully this was valuable. Give it a like if it was. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And also, if you wanna join my group here, Email Marketing Rainmakers, go to emailrainmaker.com. You can join for free. You can see these posts and you're also gonna get this free ebook that I'm launching in the next week. So hopefully I'll see you inside the group. Hope this was valuable. I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.